What's up, everybody? It's James Brady. I'm back with another quick message. Uh, don't want to take up too much of your time, but something was just on my mind that I felt like I had to share with you. So, you know, the subject today that I'm going to be speaking briefly on is about time and money and why people don't have it. You know, see, there's there's a couple of different things that you need to understand, right? Money is something that, you know, you have to have in order to live life, you know, and if you're not investing your money now, you know, you got to realize that money is depreciating day by day. I mean, gas was, you know, so much money 20 years ago and look at what it is now. So think about what your life is going to be like, you know, 20 years from now, the next time you spend a whole bunch of money on something that's not going to make you money. OK, there's only three different types of things that you can do with money. You can either kill it, you can put it to sleep or you can put it to work. So killing it, you know, that's like just buying a pair of shoes, buying, you know, anything that's just not making you any money. Putting it to sleep means you're putting it in the bank, but you're not doing nothing with it. You're just holding on to this money because you know you need to save, but the reality is you're saving the money, but you're not making it make you money. And that's what the third thing is. That's putting your money to work. So you got to understand that the money that you save is supposed to be saved to help you make more money, right? Because if your money's making you money, then what happens is you free up more of your time. If your money's never making you money, then you're constantly working for money. You're spending all your time working, but you're also spending your money. And that's why people don't have any money. You see, 97% of the world doesn't make over $100,000 a year. The other 3% make from $100,000 to billions, and that's because they invest their money. They're smart with what they do with it, and that's why they always have more money. So. You know, I just wanted to let you know why people don't have money. And, and I want you to think about what you're doing with your money. And it's okay because at any time, you can change your mindset to an investor, an entrepreneur, you know, somebody that's going to make sure their future is set for life. And you can even retire yourself early if you start doing things the right way now. Um, so, you know, time is money. You want to create more time because if you have more time, then you can have, you can take that time and go use it to make more money. So something real quick that I just wanted to drop on you guys, guys, and I'll just leave you with a little tip that I learned from my mentor. I listened to a book, an audio called The Richest Man in Babylon. And if you haven't listened to it, it's something worth taking your money and investing into yourself because that knowledge is going to help you understand money a little bit better so that you can have more money. You see, that's something, that's something smart to do with your money. Um, but what he said is that 10% of everything that you earn is yours to keep. So just think about that. Any type of money that you bring in should be 10% of that automatically should go into a separate account that you're not touching, but this account is specifically designed for you to invest that money and help you make more money, whether it's stocks, IRAs, a different business, you know, whatever it is, but it should go towards you making more money because the idea behind it is you want your money to have babies. You know, you want it to produce the money for you. So all you got to do is be smart with your choices. Okay. Don't go out and buy them new Jordans. If it's not going to help you make any money, if you're not a basketball player and playing ball with those Jordans, isn't making you money, then buying those Jordans just to go out for one night is not a smart choice. And I'm speaking from a point of knowledge that I've done that before. So I know what it's like. Use your money to make you money. Think about everything that you're doing and ask yourself, is this going to benefit me? And if the answer is no, then just learn to say no. Learn to learn to uh, to uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Learn to uh, discipline yourself. You know, discipline. Say no to yourself sometimes. And once you learn to say no to yourself and not just keep spending your money, you'll start to learn to say no to other things too. So, real quick, guys, that's all I wanted to go over with. I'm really excited about this weekend. If you're not going to be in Greenbelt, you're going to miss out. There's going to be a lot of entrepreneurs there talking about what making money, investing your money and making the right choices. I've been positioning myself around multimillionaires for a reason because it's a smart choice for me to secure my lifestyle. I'm getting my time back, guys, and I encourage you to do the same. So my name is James Brady. I love you. God bless you. I hope to see you at the top and not from the top. Talk to you later. If I don't see you at the beach, I will definitely see you at the bank. See you later.